Hello, my name is Rick Baysmore, and I'm a registered piano technician servicing the East Metropolitan Atlanta area. Today I want to talk with you about how to care for the finish of your piano. Most modern piano finishes are designed to do their job without the additional aid of any kind of polish or wax. In most cases, a piano finish is best maintained by simply keeping it clean. Before we talk about how to clean the finish, I want to talk about some things you can do to avoid damaging the finish of your piano. First, be sure to moderate the temperature and humidity changes in the area where your piano is located. Wood expands and contracts with changes in temperature and humidity. And as wood does expand and contract, it can cause the finish of your piano to become cracked or even to separate from the wood of your piano. Secondly, be sure to always avoid direct sunlight when you place your piano. Putting your piano in the sun can cause the color to fade and premature aging of the finish. Finally, never place drinks or plants on your piano. Obviously, a drink can spill and get into the interior working parts of your piano, and especially if that drink has sugar in it, it can cause uh, parts and keys and hammers and things to stick and can be very difficult to repair. Do not place a potted plant on your piano, whether it's on the center of the piano or anywhere on the piano, uh, because especially if it's something that's a live plant that you water. Uh, obviously, water uh, close to the uh, case part of your piano can cause condensation and uh, can cause permanent damage to the finish of your piano. So just don't do it. Don't put a plant, don't take a drink uh, in the area close to your piano. Now, let's talk about how to clean the piano. First step in cleaning the piano is to dust it. And the first thing you need to know about dust is that it is very abrasive. Uh, dust can be just like sandpaper when it comes to uh, rubbing a cloth over the finished surface of the piano. And if there's dust in between the cloth and the finish, uh, that dust can scratch the finish. So the idea is to first remove as much dust as possible by using a feather duster. And just take the feather duster and wipe it over every part of your piano and get as much dust as you can with the feather duster. And then you take a, a cloth, a soft, uh, slightly damp cloth. Uh, flannel is good. Uh, some of these new microfiber cloths are good. But you want it to be very soft and have very little grain to it. Uh, you don't want anything on that cloth that can scratch the surface of your piano. Take that cloth, uh, lightly dampened with water, and rub lightly over the exterior of your piano to get any remaining dust that the feather duster left behind. And then dry immediately uh, with a again, a dry flannel cloth or a dry soft cloth so that the water doesn't sit there for any length of time at all. Now, while you're dusting the piano, it's best to try to avoid creating swirl marks. Um, remember, this is a piano and not an automobile. You don't, you're not waxing an automobile with a, or a piano with a circular motion. You want to just use long, straight strokes as you dust and as you wipe the, uh, the exterior part of your piano. For pianos that have a natural wood finish, you will want to use, um, uh, you want to go with the grain of the wood as you, as you use your cloth. Uh, for pianos that uh, are solid, like solid black or solid white, um, then it's best to um, go with the sheen, if it's a satin sheen, to go with the sheen, the grain of the sheen, and go in that direction. But um, remember long straight strokes as you're dusting and wiping. Now, once you've gotten removed, uh, have removed all the dust from your piano, 
you can now clean it. Uh, after dusting, there still may be some uh, fingerprints that remain, uh, some smudges here and there, and uh, you can clean that by, again, using a soft, damp cloth and a small amount of mild soap. Uh, usually, uh, something like Murphy's Oil Soap is the best thing to use in this situation. You can buy Murphy's Oil Soap from uh, grocery stores, hardware stores, uh, you know, pretty much common places where you shop. Um, small damp cloth, a little bit of oil soap, Murphy's Oil Soap, and uh, the remaining fingerprints and uh, smudges will come off with that. Well, once you've effectively cleaned the exterior case parts of your piano, you can then move on to cleaning the keys of your piano. Now, this is a different type of technique and uh, just a little bit of different uh, consideration when you're cleaning the keys. The first thing is don't use solvents. Again, the best thing is just a little bit of, little bit of water and a little bit of mild soap on the cloth. You never want to spray any type of liquid on your keys because that moisture can get down in between the keys and cause damage. So just a, a cloth lightly dampened with soap and water to uh, get the dirt off the keys. If your piano keys are ivory, please remember that ivory is a porous material and um, therefore you want to even use less water. Uh, Water can seep down through the pores of ivory and weaken the glue joint and actually cause the ivory key tops to separate from the key, the wood of the key itself. So just a very little bit of water on your cloth, a little bit of soap, and uh, clean the whites. Clean the whites separately from the blacks. Um, again, especially if you have ivory keys and especially if you have painted black wood keys. Um, if you have painted wood keys for sharps, then as you rub them with your cloth, uh, some of the paint can get on the cloth. And then if you use the same cloth to clean the white keys, uh, that, that paint can come off and, and dirty up your white keys. So if you have ivory keys and wood uh, painted uh, sharps, use separate cloths for each. Um, that's pretty much it for how to clean the keys and the case parts of your piano. There's a couple of things I want to uh, just touch on before we close today. Um, as you're cleaning the piano, make sure that you resist the temptation to clean anything on the inside of your piano. On the inside of your piano are many, many uh, fragile parts, delicate parts, parts that are that move and are need to be um, totally absent from moisture and uh, it's just a good idea to not try to clean anything on the inside of your piano. That includes strings, uh, tuning pins, um, it just stay away from the inside and, and, and concentrate on, on cleaning the outside. Uh, ask your piano technician to, to do, do some cleaning on the inside if that's needed the next time he comes to tune your piano. Also, remember that uh, you really should stay away from the use of polishes and waxes. Um, if, if you feel like your piano still needs further cleaning after going through the steps I've outlined um, previously, then just call your piano technician and say, hey, um, I, I want to see if uh, you, you can clean my piano a little bit more than what I've done. And um, he will know the correct uh, procedures you will also notice the things that can be used and the things that shouldn't be used on your particular type of finish for your piano. Not all pianos have the same type of finish and therefore when you do something more than just cleaning, it, it involves different types of materials for that. So it's just best not to use polishes or waxes uh, on, on a piano. Uh, just stick to cleaning and let your piano technician uh, do anything further than that. That's pretty much it. I think you can feel comfortable while taking care of the exterior parts of your piano. And um, that's something that you can do as you want to on your own without, uh, without your piano technician. So um, good luck and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.